doing great today i am back after so many days and today we will be just trying out this pretty pack paint gel for our nail art design it is of white color and i just wanted to try out that the design will work over this or not and here is the white gel and i'll be using the pigments and here are the pigments i'll be using and let's just get started with the base color and i'll be also using a chrome powder and here we go let's just get started i'm using a model once black shade here we go with the black base first. Let's just get started. Hi, Kimberly. How are you? I hope that you are just doing great today. How is the weather and how is your health now? I hope that you will be just better. I hope that you are just doing great. Here, let's just get started with the base. I'm just doing the base first of the black color. And here we go, applying the base all over. Yes, it's the same here, too much hot here. Just applying the base, completely covering up the nail with the black color from the model ones. Let's just cure it for like a minute because we are just going to apply the chrome pigment over. Let's just move this aside as we will be just not using this. Okay, I'll be just using over the black, this golden chrome powder and after using this powder, I'll be just adding the flowers and then I'll be using this pigment over them to just check out that if these work on the painting gel as well. Let's just open this up and my nail is curing. I'll be just tapping it like it's the lid. Let's just tap it like this to just cover up. Okay, that's a good news, Kimberly. I hope that you will be just recovered soon. As see, you can see, my powder is on the... What is it called? The cushion pan, see? It is a hollow one. Like, let me just show you. I'll be just applying it over the nail. Here is the nail. See, it is not bubbled up. Because I just used a thin layer. Here we go, let's just apply it over the nail like this and see. And it is also so easy to apply using this pen, the chrome over the nail. As you can see, here we go. So easy to apply, do the, give them a try. It is just amazing and so easily applied over the nail. See, as you can see, there is no mess as well on the nail. Um, here, let's just cover up. I'll just hold the nail because it is moving to cover up the sides like this. I'll be just changing the sides and it will be covered up with only one stroke. Here we go. Not one stroke, like I just added the powder once and I just hold the nail and then because my nail is moving, I don't want it to move that much because it's just causing me trouble to just apply it you can just hold up because it will not stick over anything because we have the chrome over let's just cover up the nail like this and here we go see my nail is covered i'll just try to add it more because there are some black patches as you can see when i tilt the nail we are just able to see the black patches over some areas of the nail let's just apply it some more and see so much easier to use than the other one which i have in like it is like an eyeshadow palette or you can see say that it it is just done i'll just cover up and let's just move ahead let's just brush off the excessive if we have because when we just use this cushion pen, we don't have the excessive chrome over the nail and see the finish. Okay, let's just take our gel. Where is it? Here. It is in the white color that I am using to make sure that it works with the pigments as well, the gel, this one. 
Okay, this let me just tell you that it is cured using the UV light. I'll mix it up a bit because it just have to be mixed before it used. Here we go. Taking up, starting from this area of the nail. It's not the middle, it's just the quarter side of the nail. I'll just make a line like this. The reason I I'm using the white color is that I will be just adding the pigment over so it have to be a lighter color or the white is the best to use when you are working with pigments an outline I'll just make it perfect now like this have you ever used the gel do let me know in the comment section and um, please do let me know the time in your countries and the places from where you are watching me right now and your likes and dislikes in the nail art here we go an outline and um, let's just add the gel and make some roses kind of design over the nail like this here we go Thank you, Kimberly. It's like, what is the time? It's Audrey Harris, do let me know the time. Here we go. Like this. 3.33 a.m. That's the same time. Here we go. Be patient when you're working. Don't panic and you will be there for sure here we go see the results are fine i can say that but i can say that you have to mix it so well to just get the amazing results it is working good and it's not that thick or not that thin to just flowing that is just flowing over the nail it's just the perfect consistency we just need to use while doing work like this probably the polishes are more thinner and more hard to handle them while just drawing anything over and here i i'll just cover up this area with the roses and i know it will take some time and i'll just try to be quick i don't want to ruin it that's why i'll just keep it slow like this you have to just be patient to just get the perfect results and here kimberly do let me know do you practice or not or are you on a break or anything or are you still into working over your progress in the nail art here we go i just changed my content to some nail art ideas rather than the marble only because i just thought that you would love to see okay thank you so much kimberly that really means a lot okay i didn't know that that it is that much difficult for some people to do the marble thing i just think that it is the easiest nail art design i just do because it does not need any special tool you can just use a toothpick and the design is done okay best of luck kimberly and i hope that you just go toward your progress here we go i just think that i should have applied the matte top coat before just starting these but let's just see what we got over without a matte top coat i just think that it would be fine because we just already applied a pigment over our nail you can just ask anything if you want to 
nobody will would take me to USA. It's not that easy going anywhere with the kids and if you are having a family. Yes, you can just think of going if you are just alone and there's nobody else in your life like to take care of and no responsibility. You cannot even think of going anywhere. <laughs> are you into nail art, Audrey Aris? Do let me know. As Kimberly just wants to know it as well. Did you share Aris, did you share my video link in the groups? I don't think so because I'm not having any view right now. I'll be just thankful if you just can share in like two to three groups you're having right now. And here I am just almost at the at the end. <laughs> yes, I just hope that you understand now what is this like doing nail art. It's not like a piece of cake. Here we go, and I just think that I am almost there, see, I'm just trying to leave some space as well, so you will be just able to see that golden color as well. Kimoli, did you make any progress? Any? Like if you're just getting better at any of the step or any of the nail or any of the design you did before was not that perfect and you tried it again and it was then amazing. Yes, I've been practicing practicing like for three years. It's been three years I'm doing nails. Here we go. I am almost done and let's just cure it for a minute. I just want it to be cured perfectly because I'll be just applying pigment over it so I don't want it to be wet. Oh that's great Kimberly, I just hope that you just keep on practicing and one day you will be there like a spot where you are trying to get so hard I just pray that one day you will just achieve the perfection in your work here is the nail I did and let's just cure it for one minute and let's just open up the pigments while my nail is curing moving this aside I'll use a small brush let me just find out one. I have so many of the brushes, but I have just, I cannot tell you people what I did to them. They're of no use now. Because I just make them too rough, I'll just try to use this one because I don't have any other which I can use for just applying pigments. So let's just try with this one, smaller with a smaller head. I'll just use these two brushes to apply the pigment. I'll pick it up with this one and then I'll just apply it. Oh, Kimberly, it's it's a normal thing. Everyone just wants perfection in their work and it, it just takes time. It's not like that. It will not take time. It just takes too much time sometimes. Let's just open up this. I'll use this pink blue, yellow, green, and I think purple, yes. I want to use orange as well, let's just see how many of the colors I can add. I have a tissue paper which I used a while ago in my video, that's why I'm using the same one. And here is the nail, I just cured. Um, Let's just add the pigment starting with the blue, dabbing it over the tissue paper to make it lighter. And let's just not press it and go 
like smooth over the needle i just add some more um over the tissue paper again and like this um, here we go I can see the color over the white and I'll add it here as well it's just like too light the shade is too lighter over and um, let's see how it will work I can see the results and they're not that bad like taking the pink color now um, I am just dabbing it to just remove the, um, I think it just have some lumps in it and I don't want it to be over. That's why I'm just dabbing. Um, I just want to make it lighter as well. And now I'll take the purple one and here we go. It is just like lighter color over the white. And that's not that bad. It's just looking pretty as well. See the colors, light colors over the flower. And I'm taking the green one and let's dab, 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 and just apply over the white area over the nail where is no pigment. Here we go. And I think these are pretty not that bad. See. I think it is pretty, not that bad. What do you think, Kimberly? The light colors over white. And let's just brush it off. I'll just clean up after I'm done. Here we go. See the results, Kimberly? These are light, light. If I had to use a polish, the colors would be too much darker. I can say that because I just know. I wanted to try it over this pig, this bad painting gel. That's why I used I am I used it over. I'm using this super top coat from Bond Pretty Store, and here we go. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Not that bad. See, I can see the golden color and some light colors over my white colored flowers, and adding a stone as well. I'll be adding a golden stone over it. Here are these. Um, what kind of work page, Kimberly, you are asking about? When you put the polish lines over the mat. No, there's no trick. Just pick it up with a brush and apply it. No special trick. Oh, I have the white over. Here we go. See the results, can really let's just clear it. And I hope that you liked it. And I hope that you will be there because from today I'll be doing live regularly. Don't forget to join me again in my next live session. That would be tomorrow. And don't forget to turn on notifications if you have not. Don't forget to share my work with your friends and family who just love to do their nails. And here is the nail I did. And I hope that you loved it and I hope don't forget to just share your thoughts about the idea I shared and here is the nail in the flash. Thank you so much for joining me. Okay, I'll be just sharing Kimberly in details in the comment section for sure. And thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you'll be there again. Take care and don't forget to share and don't forget to join me again. Till then, take care. I love you all. Bye-bye.